Alrighty, I got the new clutch cable for the 75 here. Um, it's raining though, so I don't want to work on it out here. So I'm gonna drag it to the hay barn uh, by myself, I hope. So, well, we'll see. Let's see if I can set my phone up in here somehow so you guys can watch. This might be uh, quite get interesting. Alright, got you guys duct tape going chill. Let's see what we can make happen here. I made that. <laughs> uh -oh. yeah, that's worth the shot. <laughs> Let's call for some backup here. So, really the problem here is, uh, yeah, bald tires. <laughs> they're completely bald. These tires were awesome when I first put them on here, but they're less than a year old, about 30,000 miles on them. Oh, I got the truck dirty. They are completely bald though, so it just, yeah, no traction. So, hey, you know, I, I've never asked you guys this before, but if you guys could subscribe, I need a thousand subscribers to be able to monetize this video, or the channel in general. I could really use some new tires, so help me out, would you? I'm about halfway there. So, please subscribe, I need new tires. This is definitely the way to do this. Another tractor. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is the new clutch cable here. You can see a piece of the old one there. Um, that spring kind of helps it return. So in theory, I should just be able to take this nut off. You can see a little rubber doohickey here. That's this guy right here. And so I should be able to just pull the old one out, the old sheath, this part, and thread the new one back down through there. On the bottom here, it's got this kind of acorn shaped thing this is what actually uh pulls on the uh the linkage underneath the tractor off to crawl under there for that so i should take this off i think uh, both of these and then this is your adjustment for your, your pedal here so should be able to just take these off thread this down through the hole through the clutch pedal put these back on put that nut back on and theoretically that's it so um, i don't have a right size wrench but it's coming loose just with a pair channel locks so all right uh, let's give her a go here Alrighty, i wanted to show you guys a little bit more of that but it was so tight under there there's there's really no way to to video it it went pretty much the way i thought it would um this nut comes off this comes out and i had to crawl under there and kind of loosen it out it's got a like a rubber where's the old one lost it here it is oh well here this piece this kind of goes down into a hole in there. Nope, this side. There, and a bunch of this is actually broke off. Um, the rubber on the new one's a lot longer, but this gets threaded through a hole underneath it there, 
and that was kind of stuck so i had to crawl underneath there and just push it out of that hole and then this old piece came out i expected this to be worn all the way through but it wasn't it's kind of crunchy though in there you hear that so you could tell the metal lining of this this sheath is jacked up in there and then this was a real pain um so what i ended up doing was sticking see i mean how tight it is this pin through the hole that that spring is through and that allowed me i had a my neighbors over here helping me and so she pulled the clutch up and that shoved the cable down in there and that's how i was able to get that nut started again because um, it's you can kind of see the the dog leg in this one from you stick it in that hole and when you put this on the top it kind of has to get a bend in it like that and that makes it really hard to hold everything straight so real pain in the butt but doable um took about i don't know i think 30 minutes or so uh maybe 45 minutes to do the whole job and then underneath there um is the clutch adjustment let me just crawl under there and i'll show you where it's at real quick uh. So, dang it. Okay, hang on. Right. For the record, you should not use a pistol light as a flashlight. So, it's clear. Okay. There we go. All right. So, that right there, that is actually the clutch. And then if you can see my camera hat, way up inside of there, <laughs> I hate my mouth, way up in there, that is the hole where that clutch cable goes through. And then it comes over here and right there, that shiny thing, that is your clutch adjustment. So it needed adjusted anyway. I went ahead and did that. And then that's got that jam nut on it. And that little linkage right there, that is the uh, the actual linkage that connects to where we at here. So right up in here, <laughs> and that is the clutch right there, that bar going into the transmission. That's what actually actuates the mechanical clutch on this tractor. So if you have a shuttle shift version, you won't have any of this problem. Mine has what they call a manual shuttle on it though. So anyway, that's, you can see the cable kind of back up past there. So anyway, that's that job. So I'm going to crawl back out of here. All right, so then the last thing to do is just to put this back on here. And this just uses these little things. I probably need a screwdriver. It's just these little buttons here, and they twist and lock into place. Yeah, I'll get it here in a minute. So, all right. Anyway, tractor's operational now, so I got to go put out hay. Got to move a mineral feeder, so. And it's raining again. So, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. And by the way, today's January 1st, so Happy New Year's, everybody. <laughs>